Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Me? I'm doing great. I, uh, been putting it off and putting it off. It's time to work on this perch bulla. <laughs> it's time to work on this porch floor. Finally, man, finally. I, I, I don't even want to have any friends over or nothing because it looks so bad. Well, I got to sand it down. I wasn't very careful with my paint. I didn't care if it dripped or not on the porch because I knew I was going to repaint it. If I don't want to drop paint and drip paint, I don't. But uh show you my new gate that I've got here. It's more like a, a pickup type of gate instead of a hinged gate. The distance was so great, I feared that the gate would, it would kind of ride down on one side or drag and uh, that and I didn't have any hinges. But uh, I just copied the, the fence, the railing, porch railing that was already on here. And, uh, we were out the other day scouting for some campsites in the Wolf Wolf Wagon on a 4x4 trail. And lo and behold, we ran up on a bunch of 2x4s. Uh, some were 6, 8 foot long. Some were 4 foot long. Uh, I got out and looked at them. They were all nice and straight. But you can tell they came out of a warehouse. I'm assuming they come out of a warehouse. They're all written on. And when I worked in a warehouse, that's what we did. So I loaded them up in the back of the Wolf Wolf Wagon, brought them home. I didn't have any idea I'd be using it so soon. But all I do is support it here on this end and this end. Now if I were a better woodworker and I had the hinges, I might cut it in half and have like a saloon door uh, gate. But this is what I do now. So I just come right here, pick it up. And set it like so. So it sits there most of the day. But a lot of times I like to lay in bed and uh, work on the internet, work on my computer, and I leave this door open. So the babies, they come out here and sit at night. And even with the lights on and everything, I, I fear something might come up and try to snatch them. But, uh, so all I do now is just put that gate back up and I feel like they're pretty secure out here. Man, big old me, wolf, wolf, come out here. You know what I'll do? You'll bite him. No, I'll run, jump to bed with you. <laughs> all right. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of got a rough texture on it. And, uh, I made this myself. Now... I'm, I'm not a carpenter, uh, but I've replaced a few deck boards here and there and window ledges and that kind of stuff, but I never made pickets before. I've replaced a bunch of pickets, but I never made any. They're the same size, but I didn't have a way to take that edge off, so maybe this little palm sander that I've got belongs to my friend, a little Dewalt. Maybe I'll take some of those edges off. And if everything goes right, we'll have it painted today. So my goal is to have everything painted, gutters up, and underpinning completed on the bottom of the purple tiny house by September 1st. So, don't know if I'll make it, but that's the plan. Yep, my rosacea has come back on my nose. It's trying to heal. So if anybody's wondering what that is, that's what it is. The edge on this shelf here was pretty sharp as well. I'm taking this sander and going along the edge. So when I put my arm or my hand or whatever up here to eat or work on the computer, it'd be a lot more comfortable. So this had a lot of uses to eat on, set my water jugs on, 
and at nighttime when there's not much light out here, I like to come out here and sit and work on the computer. So I've built, I've built a couple videos sitting out here. So let me get this edge off. Get it ready to paint. Now time to put a little kills on the wood. I know it said interior primer. It'll work for outside. We're not going to tell this wood it's outside. Okay. I mean, it's kind of interior, right? I mean, it is covered. <laughs> Get this railing primed and painted too. Gate. What we're gonna call it? Gate. Well, it's the next day. I uh, got to priming and got to painting on this sucker, and uh, <laughs> I, I didn't want to stop to film it. I mean, you, you, you've seen people paint before, right? <laughs> uh. I was out here putting the, I got uh, the primer and the top coat on the little uh, table and the gate. Um, and I was able to put one coat of uh, the brownish paint on the floor. So let me show you what we got. So my little, so my little table right here come out pretty good everybody was concerned about water getting up under it and, and uh, seeping into the plywood and it might rot but I got it caulked up really good and I got it I cut it a little bit short so the water wouldn't run under it did that on both sides so it's got a good coat of paint so dad so so dad what, what do you call this color I'd uh, I call it um, I'd call it bark. Bark. You kidding me, right? No, Tucker, it's, that's a color. I just wanted something that would go with the flooring. Got two coats on it. Let me put the gate back up here and show that to you. But that's where it sits. I don't uh. I don't believe I need a hinge. I can pick it up and move it with one hand. It's got a place to stay during the day. And then at night, when I need the extra security for the wolf pack, I'll just set it on. A lot of dust showing on this floor. It won't take 10 minutes to trim these corners where the, the brown met the white. Got a pretty good cut on it, but not perfect. This white covers well. See how easy that was? It only took a second. No hinge required. And uh, I mean, it looks just like what the the people that built the building did. Just a little extra two by four on either side. So there you go. You like it, Tuck? I, I like it a lot. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. The babies are here, taking a nap. <laughs> Do you like it, baby May May? I, I like the color a lot. Martini's been sick. 
sick 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 last day or two upset tummy i can hear her tummy just growl and growl and growl and she's eating grass every chance she gets sweet baby i got your blankets washed so uh i can cover you up at night with them sitting here looking at my clips it's like a it's time to take the clippers to my hair again Ooh, look at the snow on the mountain so there you go it won't take me five minutes to cut that line and little touch-ups here and there and uh the paint will be done finished finito so uh my last video i talked about uh my friend getting some barn cats for uh rv base camp here in his house um, let me be clear they're not my cats and I don't have control of how fast he gets them uh, currently my friends are on a trip and it'll be a week or two before they get back um, so I don't think it's going to be anything that happens quickly it's just something that's uh, in the works um, am I excited about it yes and everybody says, oh, you're going to be traveling. You're going to be traveling with a cat. I know it. I know it. <laughs> I can't. I can't take somebody else's cat with me. But I could be good to somebody else's cat while I'm here. Right? I mean, I'll help feed it and take care of it. But it won't be my cat. So I'll just have three, three Yorkies. That's it. But, uh, yeah. And they'll always, they'll, either I'll be home or these people will be home. And uh, so the, the cats are not going to be left alone or mistreated or, or anything like that. They'll have a good home. Just saying. Okay. Well, I think this is just as good a place to end the video as any. I've got to head into town and go see my, uh, my egg dealer. My farm fresh egg dealer. I'm out of eggs. When I'm there, I'll upload this video. So, uh, can't do it from here. Um, so, I'm going to end this video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.